Good day everyone, today we will be discussing about solving word problems involving multiplication of fractions. Now let's have examples. The recipe for making a cake calls for 4 cups of flour. Trina will only prepare one half of the recipe. How much cup of flour will she use in this given problem? Because of the word of here, Trina will only prepare one half of the recipe. The recipe is four cups. For one recipe, it needs four cups of flour. But Trina will only prepare one half of the recipe. So when you write it, it's it's going to be one half of four. So one half of the recipe is four cups of flour. So you just have if you're going to write the equation, what is one half times four? Now, since it's a whole number, the rule is you just have to put 1 as the denominator, then multiply the numerators, which is 4, multiply the denominators. If it's improper fraction, you change into a proper or a mixed number or a whole number. Let's divide. 4 divided by 2 is 2. There is no uh, 4. There is no remainder. Therefore, the answer is a whole number, which is 2. There's no other uh, fraction since there is no remainder here. So how much cup of flour will she use? Since she will be using only one half of the recipe, then she will be using two cups of flour to make it a complete answer. Next. Mary has 6,000. She spent one-sixth of it to buy a bag and one-third of it to buy a pair of shoes. How much money did she spend in all? So, Mary has 6,000. One-sixth of it. Of one-sixth of it. What, what is it? That is the one-sixth of 6,000. So we have, we need to find what is one-sixth of 6,000. So, the word of is multiplication. To change it to an equation, 1, 6 times 6,000 over 1. So, we have 6,000 over 6. Then, divide 6,000, divide by 6. The answer is 1, 6, 0. There are 3 zeros. You can just add 3 zeros. There is no remainder. Therefore, she spent 1,000 pesos for the bag. This is only for the bag. There's another problem. One-third of it. One-third of it. Of, which is multiply, of it. That's a 6,000. One-third of it is for the pair of shoes. So, we need to write another equation would be one-third of 6,000. Then the new equation for that, one-third times 6,000 over 1, we have 6,000 over 3, divide that. Since it's improper fraction, we have it's 2, 6, no remainder, then are 3 zeros. Therefore, she spent, Mary spent 2,000 pesos for the shoes. So again, she spent 1,000 pesos for the bag and 2,000 pesos for the shoes. But the question is, how much money did she spend in all? So basically, we are not just multiplying here, but there is addition as an operation that is added to the problem. So all you have to do, how much money did she spend in all? So you add the 1,000 pesos for the bag and then 2,000 for the shoes. So we have 1,000 plus 2,000. The answer is Mary spent 3,000 pesos. So that is now the answer. 3,000 pesos. Next. A cupcake recipe calls for 5 cups of flour per serving. If Mrs. Dizan will prepare four and one-third servings of the recipe, how much flour will she need? So in, in, in every serving, it needs five cups of flour. 
But Miss Leeson has a lot of order, so she needs to prepare four and one third of the recipe. So, a third of the recipe, which is the five cups per servings, or um, in every recipe. So we have for the new equation, we have four and one third times five. And since it's a whole number, you put one. Then this one we will make into a improper fraction. So multiply, then add. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Let's change that. So 13 over 3 times 5 over 1. Then multiply the numerators. That is 15, so 65. And then over 3. Since it's improper fraction, then you're going to change into a mixed number. So that is 2, 6, 0, 5, that's 1, 3, 2. Therefore, the answer for, 20, for the 21, that will be the full number. And the numerator, which is the remainder, which is 2. And then copy the denominator, which is 3. It's already in simplest form. Therefore, Mrs. Deason will need 21 and 2 third cups of flour. She needs more than five since she will prepare four, four and one third servings. Let's have one last example. A boy has 138 marbles. One sixth of it are red. So let's answer it one by one. Three fifths of the remainder are yellow and the rest are blue marbles. How many blue marbles are, red? are there? So let us um, answer each uh, given. First, we need to find how many red are there. It says there that it's one-sixth of it. The word of it, the it there is the 138. So, meaning, what is one-sixth one of 138? That is for the red marbles. Let's find first the red marbles. So, that is one-six times 138 over 1. So we have 138 over 6. Then let's divide because it's improper fraction. 138 divided by 6, that's 2, 12, 18, 3. Therefore, um, the answer is 18. Uh, there's no remainder. Therefore, the answer is 23 red marbles. So there are 23 red marbles. It says there also that three-fifths of the remainder are yellow. So let's find for how many yellow marbles are there. For the yellow marbles, we have three-fifths of the remainder. So it's not the 138, but how many marbles are there except for the red one? So let's subtract the 138 minus 23. Because there are, 20, there are 23 red marbles. So we have five, one, Okay, so the remaining marbles is 115. So let's multiply so that we can find for the yellow, for the number of yellow marbles. So 3 fifth times 115 over 1. So that is 5 and 115 times 3, it's 15. Carry 1, 4, 3. So that's 345. Then let's divide now. 345 divided by 5, that is 6, 45, 9. There is no remainder, so the answer is 69. There are 69 yellow marbles, and the rest are blue marbles. So if there are 23 red marbles, and 69 yellow marbles. The rest are blue marbles. So the question here is, how many blue marbles are there? So all you have to do, this is not just only multiplication, it's but it involves other operation. So we have 23 plus 69. Let's add that. 23 plus 69. It's 12, carry 1, 92. So there are 92 
yellow and red marbles so how many blue marbles are there so we just have to subtract 138 minus 92 so that's for the yellow and red so we have six and then four so let me check eight 13 therefore there are 46 blue marbles right there so basically all of these problems involves multiplication of fraction with or without addition or subtraction so this is how multiplication of fractions is applied in real life situations